Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie. If you're new, you're welcome. And if you're returning subscribe, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back once again. Please always come back, comment, like, share, and subscribe. So today, I remember something when which we used to do when we were kids. We used to make balls out of banana fibers, and I was like, why don't I show these people? Like, why don't I show you when you're making balls? out of banana fiber so that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm here with my friends they're going to be helping me harvest banana fibers and i'm going to be showing you how we make them so watch the video up to the end so that you enjoy hey madam guys we are going to be putting these ones inside the bowl but why don't you just call like this? Well, so I can call it like this. Here in Uganda, we use mo kids in the village use locally available material to make these, you know, balls. toys, balls, dolls. What else do they Pots, you know, they make uh, pots sort of clay. clay. Yeah, they don't buy, but those ones in town do buy. So when we were kids, we used to make these things, and I thought I could show you. Go off. Here and this Jerry can over here. We are going to be putting like if we find a banana fiber which is not cooperating, which is hard, we shall put it here for it to become soft. And we, we have so yeah, we soft. and we have our you know these banana leaves. Dry banana leaves. We put them inside the bowl. So this we we'll do this first. So are we going to be making a big one or small one? No, big one. Big one. We shall give this to yeah. you. So you guys, we put, once water gets on them, we remove. Once they get soaked, you remove. Good. So guys, I'm going to be giving her as she does. So, should I start with this? Ah, you look for a big one. Run with it, right? Like a car. Sikwa gara yuganza yange Kwe yutila mama how did I forget this one? This one could be. So guys, this one is an expert. <laughs> she has done this, I don't know. I used to do this when I was a kid. But I have, you know, an expert over here. Now I'm a teacher, you know my Yeah, she's a teacher, so when she's teaching her kids, she shows things. You know. So guys, you keep wrapping the banana fibers around the bowl equal, equal, so that one side doesn't become big. So you make it such, right, like a real bowl. Me, boys, eh? Boys, I don't know. Boys can make this boy bowl so perfectly. That is the way they tie, like... <laughs> they tie and... and this bowl, they not The money! Like this one, if you go to this one, when you, do like you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Like this is the bowl, eh? Ne baka kola na katindo kama imadam expert. For them, that is the way they do. Over they put like this, then they tie like this. I know. Na dina go mumba ni na. Good day. Sikwa gara yanga yanga kwe tira mama. Kasi be. Mama kwe tira chida go change. So guys, you are going to be using these small ones to tie the ball around, 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 and around the ball. You know how to make a ball, eh? So, <laughs> have you ever made a ball? Have you ever made a ball using banana fibers? Yeah. Yeah. 
Ne la bacana cava muena, que caco la mamá. Racho, zala, zala. If you're Ugandan and you don't know what I've done, you're not a Ugandan. You want to start giving these ones? I'm still beautifying it. Guys, I'm putting on these fibers. We've got them from inside the fiber. We get like from here. So these ones are used to make the ball look smooth. more beautiful and smooth. But you excuse us, we don't have the best, you know, bad fibers because it's a dry season. But once we get better ones, maybe we can make a better ball. Yeah, when the rainy season begins, we promise we shall make a better one. That man, he is a no man. If he finds you, do you know these things where they used to tell us that Africa used to raise uh, kids as, communa, a community. as a community? Yeah. If he finds you, now come on. Yeah, he knows you doing something. Trust me, you will get your reward from there. <laughs> hey. It's not nothing. Yeah, don't really stop. He's a real African yeah. dad. Uh, you guys have been jazzing about my neighbor. He has just passed. And this guy, hey. if he finds you, let's say you are with a boy, hmm? just stand. <laughs> don't bother running. Because hey. if he chases you, you get chibok. You know chibok? He can you. He can you. Just stay. And finish doing whatever you're doing, and your guy asks you. You know, in Africa, we used to have these days, it's not too much, mm. but those days when you are kids, they used to tell us uh, Africans raise kids as a community. If I find you stealing your main neighbor's kid, you have to explain why. If you, you have to, if, if you I don't. find you playing from the road, even if I don't know you, your kid, Shibon. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's how they manage to raise, you know, kids with good manners, I think. Yeah, yes. nowadays it's not that to someone's kid. You guys, let me just share a story. <laughs> I remember when we were kids, like very young, around three, five, maybe. I don't remember the exact age. But we were kids, we were very young. Eh? We used to say with my grandmother, hey, did you see that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we were young, we used to say with my grandmother, deep down in the village in Palisa, you guys, comment down below if you know Palisa. Deep down there in the village. So there is this one man, he was the chairman. You, local, you what is chairman? What is chairman? Local council. Local council. The, council. Eh? the, the leader. The leader. Of the local council. So, the village local council. Eh? Yeah. So, in, you know, in the village, kids used not to like going to school. So, this man had a motorcycle every morning. He could ride around. If he finds you <laughs> and you're in the edge going, like, edge bracket for the kids going to school. He could tie you on the motorcycle. <laughs> tie your hands. He rides as you. That's if he caught you. But if he didn't call, get you, in the evening he could come at home and he gains you from your home. That man was called Damba. He could beat like and people kids feared him so much. Like so. Like if you, you don't like going to school, you could go by force. You have to go. Eh, like if I'm your mother, I tell you, today you don't want to go to school, you'll sit down. But eh, you know those parents in villages, mm. eh? You used to believe that girls shouldn't go to school. Beat girl, beat boys, they could go to school by force. You could, eh, could beat you. Yeah, they could. Tell you on a motorcycle. You know those days when you're a parent and you do, you do not take your child to school, they could be arrested. Yeah. But unfortunately, but he died. Know. And now girls are getting married at a very young age, like very young, and it's so yeah. sad. And they don't go but to school. For him, you he find, did his part. Yeah, he did his part. And by the way, that regime, eh? Mm. Kids used to go to school. Kids started, but nowadays in the villages, most of those, you know, those very remote areas, you find a kid 13, 14, they have a kid, they have their marriage, they're in polygamous marriages, and it's so sad. I heard that in Eastern Uganda, kids get married. Yeah, yeah, but I think all villages, most villages, in not only village, in Uganda. Yeah, they get married, but it is not common in our, in our city. Yeah. Yeah. So, and also, you know, kids, I mean, parents, some parents yeah. who are greedy, marry off their kids because they want they dowry. They want da dowry. dowry. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you know that dowry, like when you get married, you, like in my, in my culture, the boy's family brings house to your family. 
So yeah. you find some men, who, especially men in polygamous marriages. The old men who have their women. They marry off young kids too, you know? The old men. And there is this particular girl. She, uh, they, wanted her, they wanted to marry her off to an old man. And the kid, okay, they forced her. Then from nowhere, the kid escaped from their home. I think went to the mother's side. Is it, how is it called? Mother's parents. Mother's parents. How, maternal, eh? maternal mm. side. Mm. When she went there, the father found her in the morning, washing her legs, you know, packing her bag, and she was going to school. The father beat her, beat her, and no one was, eh? was the minding. The father beat her. Yeah, the, and, and you know, people in that call, the community were like, why doesn't she want to get married? She, oh, uh, her, her age means already, you know, so already sad. married, blah, blah, blah. They beat her, no one was, you know, even coming to arrest, you know, one. Wow. They forced her to get, but fortunately she studied. She escaped, she came to Ginger. And I'm told she studied. Another parent is proud of her, but you know, people. But nowadays, at least, eh, people nowadays are studying. But those days when we were kids, it was so bad. Like me, hey, with my age means, if I go back to my grandmother's place, all my age means I'm married of all with kids, elder kids. I got married off at 19, uh, okay, not 19, 14, 15. Yeah. Even us, you and, and yeah. even up, maybe up to now, if you make 20. And you're not married in the village right now, 2022. Yes. And you're not married. Oh my goodness. Oh, they will say Wadiva. Wadiva is hard work. <laughs> Wadiva, how do I say Wadiva in English? Wadiva, oh, well, we call it what? Like, <laughs> like you lacked a man. You failed to get married. Like Wadiva is so bad, like left over. Like you you have even bad luck. You have no chance nah, of to get married. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Wadiva, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like... <laughs> like when you're selling your things and they do not get customized, uh -huh. yeah, exactly. Like that. You sell your things, you package them very well, then your neighbor sell yours remain there. I don't so know. So that's to say. what it means so, when they say what diva. So bad, so unfortunate. And uh, by the way, if your parent and you're watching Guys, this, the ball is like you should take your kids to school, eh? you know, take them to school. So they get a future. Yeah, it's good to take a child. Most of the girl child. Man, yeah, yeah, people think. By the, but, but I think right now things have changed. But those days, boys think. Oh, if girls. you get a girl child, that's a loss. That's a loss. But they now girls married, are the but now know, that, yeah. girls are the ones who look after their parents when they. No, single mother. Yeah. Okay, we shall continue the story next time. Let's focus on the ball. So guys, uh this is a close-up like are you seeing what she's doing how do they call this in your language what does that mean <laughs> i think it Titan. is finalizing yeah okay. tightening but it is finalizing eh? okay close up you zoom in guys you see the boy is almost done this one is a small one we make even bigger ones Huh? So guys, this is our ball. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is our ball. We can make bigger ones. She's tired, but you know, you come closer. We. Adam, no gungu wagara di kuwa vpi da e kulari kanga kuma. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also subscribe, subscribe to my friend's YouTube channel. Nat Kunda Sara. We are going to be making. Those now you are going video. to make dolls in my video. Don't you're still using the same thing, so you out. can go and check it out. So, Peter, so guys, bye bye.